All right, what the hell's gonna happen when we come in here? Oh! Ah! Feral! You're not supposed to be feral. All right, you know what? We're not ah! fucking around with this. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. Uh, I am the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare Series. And we're going to go out and do some more questing. Um, I did uh, a little bit of mining overnight after I, I made stuff. So I made a full set of uh, miner armor. And I think we're going to just go ahead and start wearing that because it does give us 71.72 armor rating and explosion resistance and all the rest of that stuff. It's going to slow us down, of course. Um, but I, I tend to like heavy armor in this game and, uh, the miner set is just, I, I mean, you can't beat it, you know, for mining, but it's also heavy armor too. So I think we are going to go ahead and also throw a point into heavy armor before we start, um, you know, working on strength itself. And we're, we're almost there. I didn't get a lot of mining done. I did have some visitors though. Yeah, so we took care of those guys and uh, no no major problems. I also made myself a, a blue pipe shotgun and an orange AK. Those are ready to go. And uh, I'm cooking up a bunch of steak and potatoes because we got that recipe in the last episode. And um, so, yeah, we got four there and three more to go here. Uh, things are very hot around here, so screamers are probably going to show up. So we need to really kind of get out of here. Planted some more potatoes over there. Um, and I did put the mushroom seeds down here uh, several episodes ago when I got some mushrooms I was trying to plant them on the roof and it wasn't working and it's because I was planting mushrooms not mushroom spores or seeds uh, so we got those going on so we can make even more um, steak steak potatoes uh, all this stuff here is for selling um, in fact let's let's just grab it and run over to Rex and sell it I mined up some lead uh, so we got uh, a bunch of lead, you know, smelting in here. And it is not going to need 26 more pieces of wood to finish that. Probably, yeah, we'll do four more. My lead mine is not as deep down as, you know, as the other ones are. So it's almost real to, to detect me pretty easily. Let's take one food and water with us. Actually, you know what? Let's leave this here. Let's eat up the rest of the bacon and eggs first. Uh, but we're not quite ready to take that yet, so we'll wait a little bit longer. Let's run over to Wrecked and sell this stuff. I'll sell you goods, but what the hell do you want this time? If you didn't already know, I, I have um, some orange commando boots and I have another set of enforcer glasses or whatever those glasses are that we just sold so that's not a problem i think we did look at his inventory what i'm really wanting to get more than anything else at this point is a cement mixer uh, which he does not appear to have so you cheap ass we'll keep working bitch. on that that's um, all you're gonna buy it's day 17 or of course will come on 21 um, did these, any chance this stuff reset? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. So our, uh, quest, our first quest for today is going to be the one at the Porter house. So I'll meet you guys over there. Let's check this vehicle. Uh, 
How far away are we from being able to get the um, let's see workstations? Okay, so we it looks like we need thirty, and we have twenty-two. So we're still a little ways off before we can get to the cement mixer. Not super far off if we get, um, you know, lucky with some loot and stuff. All right, let's just pull you into here. Do a little bit of quick double looting. We'll take that stuff. And let's also check the mailbox. Anything in here? Pink minivan from Texas. And I guess we'll check this car too. Because why the hell not? All right, we're not keeping lead because very easy to mine. So let's get rid of that. Very, very easy to mine. Now let's check all this stuff again. There's some corn seed, that's good. Um, that's the same thing that we currently have. So I th think that's nitrate. Also pretty damn easy to mine, so I'm not going to take an inventory slot with that. Yeah, we'll have to sell. I have room for one thing. I guess we'll put that in there. You know what? I don't think I am going to actually carry that. Let's scrap this. That's... Eh. I've got nicer batteries back at the base, so I think I'm going to actually ditch that. And, of course, we can use this. Actually, no, we don't even need that either. I think we'll keep the rest of it. Okay, let's do this. It's been a little while since I've done this place, but I have done it before. Zombo Closet. Zombos in there, but I hear okay, we've got two Zeeks over there somewhere. Let's make sure our weapons are loaded. Hi. Oh shit. All right, we got that point. Let's go to strength and put it into heavy armor. 5% uh, reduce heavy armor movement and stamina peeling by 5% and reduce durability use by 15%. Coffee maker. With some hay. Guess what? Coffee. What is this? This is a clear and retrieve. Yeah, okay. Let's get this reloaded. It'll be nice when we can graduate to a, a better shoddy. It'll happen. It will happen. There's probably dogs back here. I I just have the feeling, you know. Um 
Let's take this and let's put it on our... How about our sledgehammer? Because we can. There, now we have a green sledge. Yeah, there's a fucking doghouse. Right, let's see if we can get up here. We spot that dog anywhere? I am not seeing it. Okay, let's move over this direction. Might be in there. Or he might be in this little shack, too. Where's that bastard at? Huh, all right. Really? You guys can't jump up on the table? I think they would jump. Well, maybe they don't think they can jump up on the fence. That's probably what it is. the dog is is probably in there but we didn't uh, we didn't trigger him unfortunately the door's locked is there something that's gonna trigger this door to open and have the dog come out after us so let's see if we can preempt that if that is the case the hell is that? Well, it's a cabinet or something, but it's not lootable, so. Huh. There is a bookshelf in there. Uh, in a cupboard here. That might, oh. There's a lever. Oh, right here. We cheese the lever. Look at us. Nice. That's going to come in handy. Some e mod. Okay. We'll probably end up just putting that on a weapon and selling it. Um, what does it take to make the burning shaft mod? We have some steel that we've looted, so we can actually make this. Uh, we, we need the workbench, of course, but yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay. There's some kind of probably construction crate, maybe. All right. We'll sell the tool because we already have one. Go to sleep, darling. All right, did I miss anything in here, or did we get everything? I think we got everything. Okay, let's be ready for that fucking dog. We're not really very sneaky now with our heavy armor, but... We're kind of transitioning away from trying to be sneaky anyways. Now we're going to be beefy. All right, well... Uh, don't see the dog in here. Um, neither do I see anything to loot in here. 
What do we get from these? Just scrap iron? Okay. Maybe the dog's in the house. Alright, I guess it's time to go in the house. And we shall do that by going upwards. However, I'm going to actually drop a few things off first because we're pretty heavy here. But yeah, look at all the stuff we could take apart in here. I don't think I missed anything loot-wise. Well, except for this. And this. Um... Why don't we put the brown on our kniffy? Nice. We could stash a couple things in here. And we could stash nothing in there. Uh, that's pretty good, though. No, we can put some stuff in the car, too. Just note to self, don't forget that you got shit in this car. Let's take that and this. And we're good to go. We'll follow the, the path. Oh, through here. Okay. Alright, unless something's going to pop out of the ceiling, I think we can safely go into this room. Mini beverage cooler. Beer. We just need to find the book that doesn't get us all messed up by drinking it. Quality six pipe shotgun. Okay, a couple more of those magazines and we'll be able to make a double barrel. Oh shit! Big mama! Hey, while we're at it, here we go. <laughs> All right. So I was just getting ready to pull out my axe and hit that when Big Mama came out of the ceiling. Let's go ahead and wrench the bed. I really, the thing is, <laughs> it could take me the entire day to salvage everything in this place. So we'll just wrench the bed, this bed, but we're not going to wrench all other beds that we come across at this point. It's just too much. Too much, man. Place is a fucking mess. I just know there's a dog in here somewhere. Oh, close. Hello. So nice that we can shoot through doors now. Let's just tap that. Well, yeah, we'll reinforce it. Because uh, otherwise it's like on the verge, right? Oh, look at all this stuff. Explosives. 
handguns and off-road lights. Love it. Okay, presumably we're okay now in this room. Lots of books in here, man. This is great. Tactical warfare, armor, paper, which we definitely want for shotties. Some medical. Nice. Herbal antibiotics. We'll take those. Scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle do. Yeah, I don't want the cooking pot. They're not really worth anything. Suppose we could pick it up and scrap it. Might as well do that, right? Uh, this is cornmeal. Didn't we stash some cornmeal outside? I think we did. Or no, it was corn seed. That's right, we'll take the cornmeal. We need it. Anything up here? Another cooking magazine. That's beautiful. All right, I think we're finished here. Let's go into here first. Got to go upstairs to get our satchel. Is everybody loaded? Yes, indeed. Oh, look at that. I will take all of that. That's some good stuff, man. I'm not even sure who that is. Oh, it's him. He has a higher chance of infecting us, so we don't want him to tag us. Now who do we have? Sounds like another one. They have to have hazmat suits to live in this filthy place. Okay, so presumably this next room is clear. Uh, robotic parts. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't even really need to do that because it doesn't really matter. Just leave that shit in there. <laughs> it did a pretty good job of um, depicting a hoarder's house. In fact, sometimes hoarder's houses are even worse than this. It's just kind of a weird phenomenon. Phenomena. Pipe. Rifle quality three. I've had um, people in my family and, and, you know, friends of the family and stuff that have had hoarding issues. So I've kind of seen it firsthand and it is not cool. I think we have a, what do we have back here? Oh, just a table. Never mind then. Uh, corn seed, let's grab that. Okay, 
guess that's it for the most significant stuff. Oh shit! No, no, no! He didn't infect us, did he? No, okay. Whew. Challenge kill any zombies is complete. Okay. Thank goodness we didn't get infected. Of course, we do have that anti antibiotic, but I don't want to use it if I don't have to, right? 10,000 XP and ammo? Seriously? Damn. Wait. Oh, no, we got to turn that into the trader. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we got to do. I think, right? Yeah, zombie slayer. Go to any trader to collect your war. Wow. That's going to be nice. So we'll have two... Uh, everybody loaded? Yeah, we'll have two turn-ins for wreck now. Zombie closet. We can use that door. Okay. That is locked. We all... Oh. Minor gloves, nice. Okay, well, we already have minor gloves, so we'll just sell those. We don't need two pairs of minor gloves. Um, got Edgar. Okay. Edgar! Damn it, I'm stuck on something. He spotted us. That's because we're noisy now. Because we have this heavy armor on. Otherwise, we would have been able to pull that off. But, you know, that's a trade-off, right? We can take some hits now. Whereas we couldn't so much before. And I'm willing to... I'm willing to live with that trade-off, so... We will hit that safe here in a minute. Just looking around. Or anything else first. It's a second uh, wiring tool that we found in this place. Okay, let's unlock this thing. Uh, nice. Okay, we'll take all of that for sure. Satchels this way. It must be. Yeah, it's in that room there. Okay, so it wants us to go around this way. That's. That's not paper, is it? No, it's iron, I guess. Yucca. There's a bag up there. Bag and a bird's nest. And we are 10 points encumbered. Nice. So what we're going to do is put some more things in here. What the hell's gonna happen when we come in here? It's a weapons bag. Oh shit! Feral! You're not supposed to be feral. All right, you know what? We're not fucking around with this. Whew. Are we done? <laughs> and we got infected. Of course we did. That's right. We'll take that antibiotic when we're done. 
Um, we are going to need to deal with our abrasion, though. Whew, okay. Yeah, feral is bad juju. The one thing we haven't run into are dogs. Oh, there we go. Remember we were thinking about get, taking that from Rick? Now we have it. Uh, that'll be good for the hunting rifle. What does it take to make it? Ah, oh, yeah, that's easy. Easy stuff. Um, all right. We have one of those, but now we can also make one if we need to. These guys came out of there. Come on, give us something good. That doesn't suck. We already have one, though. Um, can we put that on here to make it tougher? Well, we don't have room for it. We don't have room on there. What about you? Yeah, we'll put it on that. Medical supplies. Ammunition. Looks like our satchel's right behind these two. Chess and guns. Pipe pistol quality five and some machete parts. Salvage tools, satchel, and fat loots. Um, all right. I think we already have a biker helmet, but look at that. Three armor parts. That's nice. And a fortifying grip mod. What does this do again? One, oh, yeah. Okay, that one. Gotcha. So we could put that on here. Sure. Why not? Is there a... A thingy to let us out? I guess they just want us to go back out the window. Which we can do. Not a problem. Alright, I'll see you guys over at Rekt's. Alright, Rectal. At least wipe Let's, um, that shit off your boots before you come into my shop. Put those wipe on. That smirk off your face. Doing one job doesn't make us pals. Our, oh, yeah. Uh, we are definitely taking Art of Mining Volume 3. We already know Lucky. Oh, handgun. Yeah, no. We'll take that. That's good. 109 mil is nice, though, but yeah, we're going to do this. Um, And here's Zombie Slayer. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Um, I think... I don't want to take the shotgun shells, actually. I think we'll take those. Because we're doing pretty good on the other ammo. Nice. Okay. What's it gonna be, huh? Let's sell this to you. That gets us up to fifty-nine thirty-seven coin. <sighs> um. Don't what day let is the it? Door hit you on your way. Oh, it's day out. seventeen. Okay. All right. Let's take another job. Uh, any of these to the south are fine. I got some shit work. The McKean residence. Sure. Word of advice. Next time, bathe before coming to a job interview. Okay. Well, that 10,000 points was nice for sure, uh, as was all of that, uh, all of the shotgun shells. What I'm thinking about maybe doing, um, I'm thinking about running down to the trader, uh, or running to the other traders and seeing if they have a cement mixer the only problem though is even if they do i don't think i'm going to be able to afford it i think cement mixers are well i don't remember how much they are we've got 59.37 coin hmm. yeah maybe we should just do a couple more quests and get get a little bit more money first Let's wear that. Let's use this. Harvest 10% more ore when buzz from coffee. Love it. Put those back in there. All right. I think what we'll do is um, we'll spend the rest of, of our time here uh, making a, a couple of these new things we got, like the burning shaft mod, for example. I would like that on my sledgehammer. And... We do have another slot for it, too. Beautiful. Okay, so five thingies of steel. And, of course, we can get steel from streetlights and 
transformers and some of that other stuff too. All right, we're gonna need five glue. Five oil and 50 gasoline. All right, let's get this going. And then, um, what else did we, we learned something else that I wanted to make too. Oh, what the hell was it now? Let's look at Ma. Uh, oh, we learned the bandolier mod. Yeah, that would be good, actually, because it helps reload faster. So let's do bandolier mod. We'll track that. We're going to need a hundred cloth. Uh, so let's just grab a half a stack of that. We're going to need just two plastic. That's it. Okay. We need 15 leather, three glue, and one sewing kit. Now we learned the ergonomic grip. I know the drum magazine mod. Oh shit, we should be making that. Because we can put that on the AK, I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, I would have to go out and rinse 20 steel. Well, not 20, because I have... Um, how much do I have? 11. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. Especially now that we have the... You know, we read the book that makes us more accurate as we continue to, you know, do automatic fire. Okay, so drum. Let's track that. So 10 polymers, four oil, four mechanical, and then we just need to go wrench 11 steel, which we can very easily do. Okay, let's put you on there. Love it. Okay, that'll also help in dark places for us too. Um, and then uh, we got the bandolier mod, so we can either put those on pantalones or on chest piece. Doesn't really matter because it's neat. Oh, oh, that's right. We don't have pants anymore. Okay, well, we'll put that on there then. And we can load faster, especially these pipe weapons. It's going to help a lot with. Now, was there one... One other thing, though, that we also... Oh, yeah, the Hunter Mod. That's what it was. Okay, let's track that. We want to make that as well. All right, so that's going to take five iron. Five more glue, which we're going to have to make. Uh, okay, so let's grab this. It'll need five more mechanical parts, so one... Two, three, four, five, and ten springs. Okay, so we just need to make five glue. And I guess we have to use clean water to, to do that, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Um, let's cancel that for a second. And we might as well cook this water because I don't believe murky water by itself is good for anything other than making water. Not like it used to be. All right, so we need about six minutes of burn time. That's good enough. Let's put those in there. So we have seven steak and potatoes. Love it. So let's just wait for these, um, and then we'll go out and hit uh, some steel. So we got a lamp post there. We got a lamp post there. We got two lamp posts over there. Yeah, this will this will be limb and squeezy, 
And it looks like there's a transformer right there too. Let's get the hunter mod going and we'll come back for that. I've definitely looted that dumpster before. There's no way I did not do that. So I'm sure it's an update that came out that uh, caused that. Unless, well, unless the, maybe the respawn timer is shorter than I remember it, but I thought it was 30 days by default, wasn't it? Cause I didn't, I didn't change that. We got three pieces of steel out of that. That's pretty good. Um, what are we, this is for the drum magazine, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just tr put that back on the tracker. Okay. Two more pieces, six to go. Okay. Four more to go. Only got one out of that one. I don't think we got a single piece of steel out of that one. Damn it, Jim. No, we got a challenge too. Very nice. Isn't there a chance of getting um, acid from those, those green, greenish barrels? Uh, incidentally, there we go. Uh, fuel barrels don't blow up if you wrench them. The only, only if you shoot them. So we don't have to worry about that. All right, let's go back and make ourselves a drum magazine. It'll take five minutes. I figured it'd probably take a little while. Our mushroom plantation there is growing, which is nice. All right, let's put the hunter mod on our uh, hunting rifle. So right now it does 55 damage. Now it does 59.4 plus additional bonus damage, 25% that is, to all animals. That's really good. Any other mods that we might want to think about making right now? Stealth boots mod. <laughs> it's got... That's awesome. He's got a pillow <laughs> pillow tied to the bottom of the shoe. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Uh, that would take five forge. I mean, we could make it. We just have to go rent some more uh, thingies. Reduces the noise and stamina penalties of medium and all. Oh, we should do that. Hell yeah. When did I find that? I don't even remember finding that. Obviously, I did, right? But I just remember. Um, Okay. So yeah, let's go get five more steel. Nice, we got all five. Okay, so uh, we need another 28 plastic. Let's just take all of it. We need two more duct tape, so that means we're gonna need to make some more glue. And then we're going to need a sewing kit. And then we'll just make the two duct tape when we get two thingies of glue. Okay. Stealth boots mod. And look at this, baby. Modify. Um, all right. Improves accuracy from firing from the hip. Diverts propellant, reduce recoil. Um, I think, I mean, we're going to probably be firing from the hip more than we're going to be aiming down the sights with this weapon. So yeah, let's, let's take that off and we can put that on something else. All right. I wish it actually showed us the drum mod, but look at that 60 rounds in the, in the chamber or in the magazine. That is amazing. I'm going to have to 
I'm going to have to make some more 7.62 now, which I can do. I've got 831 gunpowder, and we can go mine for more as well. All right, let's put this stuff back in here. Oh, never mind. We still have still have a full stack. So even filling up, filling that guy up. Can I put... Let's see, you already have a muzzle break. Do you have room for one more? I don't think you do. No, you don't. Okay, so we'll just hang on to this and we'll put it on some other weapon later on. Keep that in there. And we're going to need to reload this again. Okay, so um, it doesn't say by how much. If we look at... Uh, let's see, go here. Do we? Oh, that's right. It doesn't tell us. Yeah, it doesn't tell us. Um, it doesn't give us stealth stats. It never has. And I don't know why. I wish that it did. But we just have to trust that it'll make us a little less noisy and a little less stamina usage. So let's go here. And we'll go modify. Did it? Okay, hold on. So that's... Those are our stats right now. I don't think there was a change. Because we have minus 8 mobility and 20% noise increase. If we take that off, it's still the same. So I guess it just doesn't state it. We just have to trust that it'll work. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, why show us all the other stats, but not that particular stat? Doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to spend the rest of the day probably, again, doing some more mining. And um, in the next episode, we'll do more of the same. We'll just keep doing some questing. It is day 17. Uh, we are getting close to the next point. And did we? We did a challenge, too, didn't we? The steel one, yeah. Okay, so that gives us 2,500 XP. Nice. And that gets us a little bit closer. And we're going to be starting to, you know, to work on strength now and get that up. And we don't have any more challenges currently pending. So that is it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.